These are our braids. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. My name is Jayla, also known as Jason Lonely on the internet. So that is where you can find and follow me. And today I'm coming to you guys to show you how I achieve these goddess box braids. These super duper long goddess box braids. These are probably the longest braids on YouTube right now. So if you want to go ahead and see how I achieve this, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to achieve the goddess box braid. I do have two more braids to do. So we can go ahead and knock these out the park. I originally prepared my hair in plaits of this size because I thought I was going to do a different style, but it didn't work out. So we're doing this now. But just be aware, you do not have to plait your hair beforehand, but it will cut down on your braiding time. This is the braiding hair that I'm using. And this is the brand of curly, wavy hair that I'm using. This is all that they had at the beauty supply store that I went to. But if you can't find this particular one, you can use free trust. Take a section of hair about this thickness. And I'm just going to stretch this hair out. We're going to feather the ends so that we do not have a very blunt braid. And I feather my ends just by pulling the individual strands and also just pulling the section hair as a whole. So now these are the ends. They were blunt before and these are the ends now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start my underhand braid. I have two sections of Kanekalon hair and I'm using my plait, my hair as the third section. And I'm just going to start to braid down. Scooting the hair up the shaft by holding my hair making sure we get it nice and tight. Once we start nearing the end of my natural hair, I'll start to borrow from each section. The rest of the hair we have left is like the length of my hand. I'm going to prep our wavy hair to be fed in. So we're just going to do a feed in method. So you can see how I'm holding the hair. I'm essentially gripping two of the sections, two of the three sections. And the two sections that I'm gripping are the sections that we're going to add this hair to. So if you see this, we just added it to one section. We're adding it to the other section. Can you guys see that? And I'm just gonna continue braiding. So now you see that we've only added this curly hair to two of our three sections. braiding all the way down until we don't have much braiding hair left. So this is essentially the end of the braid. What we need to do now is secure the braid so that it doesn't unravel. And the way that we're going to do that is to do, I believe it's called a slip knot. I'm not really sure what the proper name for it is. So I'm taking a very small section of the braiding hair. Again, just a couple of strands. So essentially what we're going to do is form a loop or a number four, a number four. You're gonna bring that through like so and tighten that knot. 
So we've essentially tightened it. It doesn't look the greatest, but it's secure. So this is our braid. I'm going to show you that process one more time so we can get it down pat. But that is essentially what we do to achieve our goddess braid. So one last time, we have our section of hair that we're ready to braid. You see those blunt ends? We need to change that. So we're going to start pulling and feathering the hair. Now we have some feathered ends instead of those blunt ends. And we can begin braiding. So taking our hair, taking the two pieces of braiding hair, and I braid underhand. I'm gonna get nice and tight and begin to braid with my hair being the third strand. Once we start nearing the end of our natural hair, we're going to begin to borrow hair. borrowing pieces of hair from each section. Nearing the end of our braid right here, this is where we're gonna start adding in that wavy hair. So again, I'm holding these two sections back here. I have one section that is free and loose and I'm going to add it to the section that I'm actually holding. So I just grab this piece with my thumb back here, grab it there, gonna add it in here. I just slip it in between my fingers. So now look, I'm holding the curly hair with this hand. This section is still completely free and we are going to proceed with our braid. We are essentially near the end of our braid. Just a couple of strands is all you need. Going to create a loop and pull the end of that through. Tighten it up with our slip knot. I hope that's what it's called. I think it's a slip knot. I don't really know, child. I wasn't no Girl Scout. And I'm actually gonna dip my hair like so. Because we really want to seal that Konekalon hair. We don't really care about this Bohemian hair being sealed. We just wanna seal where the Bohemian hair and the Konekalon hair meet, okay? That should be about done. I'm going to get my towel ready. Again, that towel is the most important part because this hair is hot, y'all. So yeah, that is how I do my goddess braids. I'll show you all of them. 